Sim World presents Around the Table with E and the Fat Man. What's up, everybody? It's me, it's me, it's the B.O.B., and I am not here with my man E today. He is out sick with COVID, but I do have my man, Engager of the Year for SimWorld, Davion, with me. How are you doing today, Davion? Hey, I'm doing great, man. How are you? I am doing great. You know, uh, we haven't had, other than Coach Bellardi, we actually haven't had anybody on, but Davion was great enough to agree on last minute to do a co-hosting with me, so... Uh, the one thing uh, that I know not a lot of people know about Davion is uh, he is a big wrestling fan outside of basketball. Um, so we're actually going to talk a little bit about wrestling. Uh, there's years and years and years of history uh, to go through. Uh, Davion, uh, Eric likes his little top threes and everything. Do you have like a top three current wrestlers, top three all-time wrestlers? Could be the same. Uh, what, who are your top three? current wrestlers sure um my top three current wrestlers i'll say kevin owens throw roman reigns in there just because of the championship brain that he has right now <laughs> and let's see i need one more i'm gonna go i don't have a third that's favorite all right now. that's all right <laughs> I, it, it's 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 not an easy question well do you yeah. have what may be a little bit easier is do you have a top three like all time all time yeah uh the undertaker the rock and Shawn michaels i'll say you came yeah. out with those really quick i don't know if i i have a top three but i think it's ever changing for like current wrestling i'll be honest i kind of fell away from wrestling a little bit Probably okay. before Sami Zayn got his big push onto the main roster. I don't even know if he was on the main roster uh, whenever I kind of fell away. But mentioning him, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and I don't. I I have to go to AEW and say CM Punk. I know he's got, there's a lot of controversy okay. surrounding him right now. Um, I just feel like he is such a great in ring performer. Um, I say that it's a little controversial because there's a whole lot of things. I'm sure you followed that a little bit. Is there's some things going yeah. on in AEW where he's probably not going to come back because there is a legitimate uh, locker room brawl. <laughs> and to say he started it, I who started? Who's, who really knows? We weren't there, but um, that's not going to be the most controversial thing I say in regards to wrestling because I'm going to go ahead and talk about my top three. Which you had again, you had a great top three. You said Undertaker, Rock, Shawn Michaels. That's probably you can put them on a Mount Rushmore of wrestling, honestly. For me, uh it, I'm gonna go with my controversial pick first. Chris Benoit. <laughs> I don't think okay. I need to <laughs> explain why that's a controversial pick, but I'm not gonna just erase what he was able to do in the ring uh because right. of the right. terrible things that he did do. Uh the one that I think uh, Kane is my all-time favorite, period. Uh, <laughs> being a big guy and what he was able to do, he came in, feuded with The Undertaker, did all these things. I was a little iffy on the removing the mask situation for him because that the mask kind of gave you the whole like mystique about him and he was this unstoppable monster. And then you took the mask off and it's like, eh, he's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, You're right, though. Yeah, like I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, and I I remember that. Of the, I was so hyped up. It was the tag team match. I believe it was a tag team match with him and RVD, and they lost. And he took the mask off, and it was just like half his head shaved. He's got a little yep. curly like afro looking thing going on on the back of his head. <laughs> it just he just yeah. a little bit of black face a face paint on. I'm like, ah, this isn't really how I was hoping that Kane would look underneath the mask, but uh, but for a number three, oh man, it's probably another controversial pick, Jeff Hardy. Um, okay. He, obviously, it, if I was picking top five matches of all time, he's probably in two or three of them. <laughs> those fair. Yeah. Yeah, those <laughs> TLC matches with him and Edge and Christian and the Dudleys and crazy. that back in the day, crazy. It, he put, yep. he's obviously going through all of his issues, but it's also t that ties back to wrestling i mean all the stuff that he was willing to do to his body to put on a show for everybody he's paying for it now and unfortunately he can't get it together but 
not going to stop him from being in my top three. <laughs> yeah. But one thing that we've been, it, it's always kind of been a thing, but not so much with YouTubers. Pop culture has always found its way into wrestling. Uh, what are your thoughts on, obviously, the Logans and the Jake Pauls, they're huge people, mostly people don't like them. What are your thoughts on Logan Paul having such a, a big influence in wrestling right now? Yeah, um, I'll be one of those people that say I'm not really fond of the Pauls. <laughs> I'll be the first to tell you that. But <laughs> what he's doing at wrestling, like, I haven't really seen his matches just because of my dislike for him. <laughs> I know, bias, I know. but. Yeah, just from what I've heard, people have said he's done well in the ring, so I can't take that away from him. Yeah, uh, I still got to see for myself, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I from what I'm hearing, he's doing well, so, so I'm not even mad at that. You said you you haven't watched any of his matches, just you, you, you're biased, you don't, I get it, like the Pauls, they are, oh... Let's, I, and they're I, from I, Ohio, so okay. like I try to support them, yeah. but I, I can't. <laughs> well, what what would make you watch one of his matches? Like, is there a, a specific match or a specific person that he would go up against that you would like go? Okay, I have to watch him now. Actually, um, it's funny because his match against Roman Reigns, I think in November, that might be one I'd have to check out just to kind of see how he does. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, Roman Reigns. I know you mentioned him before. You threw him on your top three uh, current list. I am so I'm similar to you with the Pauls as I am with Reigns. There's I I oh <laughs> man. I am trying to watch what I say. I think I believe his push. I don't like when people are pushed when I feel like they're specifically pushed because of family. And I do believe uh, okay. if it wasn't for The Rock, that he probably wouldn't be where he is today. Um, mm. I do know, obviously, in Vince, when he did run the company, what was Vince, like, super all about with the wrestlers? He wanted the big, hulking, jacked-up wrestlers. Yeah. The big guys, yep. the little guys never got the love. Which I'll say, kind of transitioning a little bit uh, away from that, is with Triple H taking over, uh, that was one thing that I always thought would be great for wrestling in general because he cares about the wrestling aspect. He doesn't care what you look like. He cares about what kind of show you're going to put on. And I think we're going to start seeing people that you normally wouldn't see at the top, at the top, mm -hmm. because of that. Like, sure. the fact that CM Punk was the champion for as long as he was and that uh, Daniel Bryan, when he was there, was the champ. Like, it's... Those aren't the guys that you think of as champions because Vince McMahon wants the big guys. But when you think of who the champion is, you think of big guys. But I think this is a good uh, a good thing for the wrestling world. Unfortunately, everything happened with Vince. I'm going to say this. If anybody is surprised at any of the things that came out about Vince McMahon, you, you, don't, you don't know anything. <laughs> I, <laughs> Vince McMahon was always a little bit shady in everything when that it, when that news came out my my first thought was it took this long it took this long for exactly. it to, yeah. <laughs> like what well, I, I can't even disagree no it's like it took this long for that to come out i i would have assumed that everybody would have known this was happening since he went in i mean uh he yeah i just man man there's a lot of controversy going on right now in the wrestling world <laughs> yeah it really is <laughs> Well, you, you said that, I know you had mentioned, again, Roman Reigns, the Roman Reigns match with Logan Paul, if that happens in November, is something that would get you uh, really into it. And you mentioned earlier Bloodline. I, I do know, again, not having followed wrestling a whole lot recently, I do know that there is a big, um, Bloodline is him and the Usos, is that right? Yeah. Yep, and they have a younger brother that just joined too, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, they're 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 trying to take over. Um, so, is there anything that you? What do you like specifically about the whole bloodline? I guess the, the just the group as a whole. The, are there any storylines right now that kind of stick out to you? Yeah, uh, one of the things that stuck out to me is like the Sami Zayn being involved with them. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like so, it's been funny. Um, I didn't exactly see when he joined, but 
like since he's joined, like I've seen like social media posts that's just been hilarious <laughs> and I've seen, you know, him with them. And it's just been funny. It's been entertaining. And that's kind of one of the things I've been paying attention to the most lately. So, so. he so he's actually a part of Bloodline now? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, t- I don't know exactly how it happened, but yeah, here so we I are. I guess I guess we can kind of compare that to what, twenty twenty years ago or so. I I'm not good with time in math or anything like that. So is this similar to Owen Hart joining the nation of domination? Is that kind of where we're at with this? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> exactly it. Just it's, about. Yeah. It's like, it's like, uh, we're just going to throw somebody that doesn't make any sense into this group, but it's going to be hilarious. So <laughs> right. that's exactly it. Yep. Well, I know obviously sim world, we're big on basketball right now. Uh, basketball mm-hmm. players have, for the longest time, I, probably before the the Monday Night Wars, but that's whenever they everything really started to take off with the pop culture. I feel like I, I say mm-hmm. that it's not obviously pop culture was in wrestling bef- way before the Monday Night Wars, but really like we had uh, Carl Malone and Dennis Rodman. They had their they were on separate sides tag team matches in yeah. WCW back in the day. Yeah. Uh, Shaq gets involved in everything, so I don't think anybody should be really surprised if Shaq's ever been in wrestling. He's always he's, he does everything. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are there any wrestlers? Or I'm so sorry. Are there any basketball players in the NBA that you would like to see step into the ring, or do you, you think could step into the ring? Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing Giannis. Huh. I think you know just. Him being a big guy, which kind of <laughs> goes back to that. Uh, him being a big guy, he's a wrestling fan. Uh, I remember him having like a Stone Cold shirt or something something along those lines. Yeah. And yeah, uh, he had a title belt. Uh, I think he went to an event before. I don't know. I could just see him doing well. Uh, in ring, you know, he wouldn't be doing any promos. I think promos <laughs> he'd kind of be iffy on. But He'd have to get a ball ring, yeah, mouthpiece. I think this is good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, I- I'm going to go similar to you, though, because uh, I, in this, re- this dude really couldn't give a promo. I'm going to give two, and they're both big guys, and they're it's not going to be surprising. I got to go with my man Embiid uh, for the Sixers. Oh, yeah. But I... Yep. I he would I think he would have to give his own promos because he's so hilarious, and you never know what he's going to say. Right. But I also think Joker would be... For the wrestling aspect, just because of his size and everything, he would be a good fit. Mm -hmm. But you have to give him a mouthpiece because he's probably not somebody that you're going to really want to have up there cutting a five-minute promo or anything like that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, Those are good choices. I like those. Yeah. Yours, too. You you can't go wrong with Giannis. I mean, he's such a great athlete in general that he could probably make the easy transition over to the wrestling world. Um, yeah. Speaking of basketball, still, are there any players in Sim World that you think would maybe make a good uh, make a good transition to wrestling? Uh, I would say Jomo, Jomo Graham. Just ah. again, here we go, big guy thing again. I don't know why that keeps coming <laughs> up, but yeah, just for his size, I just think like he could be like an intimidating, just big guy and just do really well. Yeah, he yeah. he's definitely number one for me. So. <laughs> Yeah, and I think also, uh, I remember Kevin Sullivan making a Twitter post uh, a couple months ago about how he was thinking about taking a professional wrestling career after basketball, and I he probably should get started on that soon because he hasn't been that great for the originators, so I think he should probably sure. start working on his basketball or his wrestling career now. Um, but I also think, did Jameson Johnson and a, a little group of guys not go to a wrestling event a couple months ago? I, I want to say they did. I yeah, think they did. I remember correctly. Yeah. yeah. I think, obviously, it's the size with the athleticism. As much uh, as much trash as I talk about Jameson Johnson, he's such a great athlete that I think him too. He, again, I know we're, we're, we're harping on the big guys here, but I think he would be a great uh, mesh with the wrestling world. Yeah, no, I can definitely see that. <laughs> so, who, <laughs> if you put all let's do that okay. surprise question <laughs> royal rumble every mm-hmm. player who has gone through the first season of sim world who do you think would win in a i don't know how how many play 
200, 300 man Royal Rumble, something like that. Who do you think would come out on top in a Royal Rumble? Uh, I might have to take your answer. Uh, JJ, I think JJ would. <laughs> and yeah. I, yeah, and I think I think we would see some alliances forming too. If there was a like, obviously, there's always little uh, obscure alliances that happen in a Royal Rumble because they're trying to get a big right. guy out. Uh, but I think mm-hmm. that he would have the alliance on his side where they're like, you know, let's protect him for a little bit. But then he'd have to watch his back probably in the like the final five. Like, you probably have four on one there trying to get him out. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Davion, I really appreciate you coming on and helping out co-hosting this uh, episode with me uh, around the table, which I did not mention in the beginning that this was around the table. So I apologize that I am now bringing this in at the very end with tw- 15 minutes. <laughs> well, in 15 minutes, do you, is there anything you want to tell the people out there? Is there anything you want to say? Yeah, man. Uh, I just appreciate being on here. Uh, Tim World's been great for me. Uh, <laughs> like he said, I mentioned earlier, I'm the engager of the year, which yeah. was awesome. I appreciate yeah. that a lot. Uh, I'm going to keep rolling. Awesome. rolling. Awesome. I really appreciate you, Davion. I'm glad you got on here with me. And I, I hope everybody has a good rest, good rest of their weekend. And everybody be good. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>